We're looking at the angle side angle proof number one in our triangles congruence proofs booklet. And I'll be doing the first example and have you do the second on your own. If you feel like you can do this on your own, feel free to skip this video and try it on your own and come back and check. So we have this given information, QR bisects angle PQS. So I always like to take that information and label the diagram accordingly. So QR bisects PQS. That bisects means cuts it the angle in half, creating two congruent angles. And then it says angle PRQ. PRQ is congruent to angle SRQ. So that means I have these two angles are congruent to one another. And now, again, like our previous example, we have a shared side. And so whenever we have a shared side, it's good to mark that. I mark it with a zigzag. And we have a, a side that is shared, so it's congruent to itself. Next, we'll take a look at proving that triangle PQR, so triangle PQR is congruent to triangle SQR. So we'll start with the given information. We'll always start with the given information. So side, or sorry, segment QR bisects angle P. Q, S, and so we can say, cross that off, the reason being it's given. Next we'll give the other given piece of information, angle P, R, Q is congruent to angle S, R, Q, and we have that down here, and again it's given. And then, <clears throat> just like we marked in the diagram, bisects means it cuts the angle into two congruent angles. So let's go ahead and use that as our next statement that these two angles, PQR, there it is, PQR, is congruent to angle SQR and that would be the definition of angle bisector. We have two more spots and I could jump ahead if I wanted to just to get it out of the way and put my proof statement like I did on the last one. I put that last because that's where the proof statement typically goes. Triangle PQR is congruent to triangle SQR. And then I can come back up and fill in the other option that makes sense as a, a statement, right? Our properties and theorems typically go on the right-hand side and our statements of congruence for these types of problems or proofs or um, we might include words like bisect, uh, those, those kinds of things go on the left side of statement. So QR is congruent to QR. Again, we marked that in the beginning. Remember that? We marked it with a zigzag. And whenever we make a statement like that, it's always called the reflexive property. You can kind of think about it as a mirror. It mirrors itself. The same thing is on the left side of the congruent symbol as the right side. It kind of reflects. It's like a, a reflection. Uh, and so we can cross that statement out. And finally, we are left with the fact that these two triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So be careful you're not looking at both triangles at the same time and jumping around between the two. You should have an angle, side, angle in each triangle. 
So angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, the two are congruent by ASA.